So good morning, it is Sunday and it's a working day for me as always. It's all in the preparation for next week or depending on how you say it, is it the start of the week on a Sunday or is it the start of a week on a Monday? But whichever way you look at it, um, I'm working. <laughs> so it's all in preparation for when we go down. There's loads of things we need to do. Um, and it's something I don't normally show, so got to video games, that type of thing. I've got to nip to the tip, empty the trailer, got to use that trailer to pick up insulation. We've got to get wall ties, got to nip to screw fix. I've got to get food for the week. I've got to spend some family time. Um, I've got to get some miles in on the bike. And yeah, in general, it's a busy day for a Sunday. Um, yesterday, I had quite a good day. I went out on the bike. I managed to get pulled over two minutes from leaving the garage. You wouldn't believe it. Um, so yeah, it was due to like a small registration plate on the, on the bike. So depending whether you're American or you're English, it's, you know, motocross, it's a dirt bike and the number plate is legally smaller than what it should be. But, you know, that's just how it is. That's, I could have gone four different ways from leaving the garage. And uh, I was in a place where I didn't know, obviously if I was in Wigan, I know all, you know, anyway. Um, so that was a nice 100 pound fine. But anyway, that's just how it goes. It didn't ruin my day. And I think the fact that it didn't ruin my day, uh, it miffed off the uh, police officer so yeah in and about today I'm just going to do some short little clips and uh, that's going to be the start of our week so it's going to be something interesting I can already feel it So my missus, she's doing a really good job whilst I'm working away. The business is ticking over. Um, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot to process. But in general, really happy knowing that I can be away and you can hear the machine in the background. That things are being taken care of. We've got a new member of staff coming on board. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's going really well. Um, can't say more than that. Second all these to the tip, all these old cases we don't use, so when we replace them, uh, unfortunately they all get surplus sent to the tip. Um, I'm not one for waste, but if there's any upcycling ideas, retro collectors, things that you think that they could be salvaged from going to the tip, that would be an idea. Um, but I haven't thought of any in the many years that I've been doing it. So, off to the tip. What you got there? Some bread for my daughter's birthday. Get Rocky for a walk as well. Woof woof. <laughs> So, as I was emptying the games, I found these boxes, and I am an opportunist, and I don't like waste, and I thought, why not? So, these are coming home with me. So, there's nothing quite like going to the tip. Uh, one thing I don't like is it absolutely stinks. Threaded bar. What have you got there, Robin? Oh, it's really heavy. Really heavy? Yeah. Okay. So just at the lock up, and this is where we keep all of our materials left over on the job. You just send them to the next one. There's the rubber. 
rubbish, machines and things. So we're after this. This insulation's going down and it'll be for the cavity for the new extension. So we're all strapped up, cavity wall insulation, some air bricks, little bits of pipe, got the wall ties and carrying on. Got your bread in your basket. Give him Rocky a bit. <laughs> Even Rocky gets some. Yeah, if you want. So nice and early, you know the script, it's nearly six o'clock um, and I'm in a bit of a negative mood if I'm honest, I'm not happy. Um, I didn't have a very well rested weekend, not so much an enjoyable one either. So to bounce off that with going working away, just not feeling it today. Um, and it's a terrible attitude to have for a Monday and knowing that there's so much work ahead but plow through I normally do this keep going regardless and then tomorrow's better you know what I mean the only way you can go is up all that good stuff so yeah just plodding on It. Hands free. <laughs> wow. Bit of a wet one. All right, so it's Monday morning. We're here. The weather's absolutely crap. We've got a few jobs on our list to be done so judging by the weather we're going to do internal and external jobs so monday's not looking great the rest of the week's looking cloudy but no rain so today oh, one of many jobs we could get started with uh measuring the stairs ordering them windows sealing the holes in the damp proof course finishing that uh bolting up these wood sections uh, measuring up the RSJs, ordering them, uh, studying to do, um, there's a few emails to be sent, ah, just loads, loads and loads of little jobs, um, drilling through the brickwork, all sorts, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll find out what we're going to do, make a plan of action and get to it. just got these bolts and washers added on just gonna go the other side got my spanner just go and tighten them up right so we've got all these bolted in that one was one that went skew with but it was all right because we replaced it they've been tightened up 
not sure how many newton meters but as strong as they'll go the washers are somewhat counter sunk into the wood so pretty good going um dave on one side upstairs me on the other Two hours in here. I'm filthy already. So I've got to cut roughly three inches deep. We've got one more this side. Dodgy plug. So we've got one more over here. Can't really do much with that, but then it'll go down here. So, <clears throat> dinners, tea this week. As we know, it gets better at the beginning <laughs> because we get to eat the remains of leftover tea. So, I'm on quite a good dinner, actually. Leftover Chinese from the day before. Dave's on pot noodle. Watch out. <laughs> Gutted. <laughs> right, so we're at the point in the project where we're knocking through, creating an opening. And it's quite a big moment because it can go really well or really wrong. <laughs> so we've done everything in our power uh, to ensure that it will go smooth. Um, the opening isn't so big, so I'm just gonna show you where we're at. So we've got our cuts. This is the opening. It's 155 wide centimeters. Just expose some of the plaster work. Uh, and you can see that what we're working with is little bits of stone. So it's quite easy to work with. In terms of foundations, with it all holding together, all what you see there is directly above. So we've got our C24 2B5 joists upstairs on both sides, anchored in with concrete screws into the stonework, pinned with M12 threaded bar washers and nuts with acro props on both sides as tight as we can possibly get it along with other bars. So this, I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse. All this rubbish here, we're going to put to one side because it's going to make it easier. When it's open, we're going to throw it all in the garden. So we've got half done and I just want to show you whether or not you think this part here was once a window. Um, I couldn't see it but they've seen it from afar. You've got your lintel, there's like some slate horizontal on the inside. So, possibly, possibly a, a previous window at some point. So this is where we're at, and you can definitely tell um, that would have once been something looking out into the garden. Uh, I would have thought there would have been a doorway, there might have been a doorway on that side. 
because obviously this was one house at one point and you're not going to have like a brick wall there. So yeah, plodding on, I'm going to take down the rest of this with caution. Uh, Dave's got his tunes on. Right, so this is where we're at. A few tons of rock, soil, dirt. We've got the opening. We've got this bit to finish, uh, this bit. To make that a through door, we've got to take off what is the old extension. And whilst I'm knocking out here, this is the bathroom, what was. I was just taking out this bit because I thought what I'll do is I'll knock through there and then all this rubble I can pile here ready for the wheelbarrow out the door into the guard. So taking out the wall and little, little bits of paper, I don't know for what reason this is other than like a time capsule, um, but thought on these papers we'll find out when the extension was done what the regulations were because if you remember the footing it's a six inch concrete on this one um not like the one that we did which is a nine so regs are slightly changed so i'm going to open these Ooh, treasure <laughs> uh find out what year it might be an interesting story. Right, so for the grand unveiling, find out paper-wise. Last year, Abbey property bonds would have made a straight worry tax-free 3%. Or is that 11.3? Anyway. Daily Mail, Wednesday, January 3rd, 1973. Time to guarantee income and guarantee growth. Six years after me. Yeah. Wow. Cool. What's that? 8% today. Look at that little five pound note. I hope you can see it. Could I be facing a rent shock? How times don't change. Yeah. Cool. <coughs> so yeah, uh, dust, mess, a lot to clear up tomorrow. I'm still knocking stuff out. And uh, keep plodding on. So that is it for the first day, um, made quite a bit of progress, I thought I'd show you what I'm having for tea. <laughs> so as you do, we've got the microwave and extension wheel set up, very professional, nicely second hand cleaned microwave and I'm, I'm either on Bistro Carbonara or Swedish meatballs so I think I'm going to go for the carbonara just because Dave's been to the takeaway and I've got just a handful of chips so I think that's what we're on with chips and carbonara I need plenty sleep because I was up every hour past two o'clock last night mega progress today um, it's always a long one when we come from Wigan because it's two hours to get here. You're working all day. Driving alone takes it out of you. Um, on the way, it was torrential rain. And we somewhat, doing the speed limit, we went through a big puddle. No street lighting on the, is it A55, I think, from Chester to like Bangor. Um, yeah, and, and there was an accident as well this morning, so we just avoided that. So I'm going to have some tea, and then that is me done. Very early Tuesday morning, 
uh, Dave's actually been up quite early. He gets things going, he gets started, set up. Um, today he's on with the mixer and building up the footings. So we've got a bit of water to take out, things to get started. <coughs> Just gonna have a look inside where we're at, what we're up to. Got me brekkie, good start to the day. Get some protein in me, cause there's gonna be a lot of handballing. A lot of stone to be moved. So, I have to give it today. He's pretty good with the uh, joinery. So, reinforced the flooring. I did those noggins the other week. Uh, the important stuff is this stud work. So put in the joist hangers will be going in next. And then I think the building inspector said he wanted with these three, oh, what are they then? They look like four by two, five by two. Uh, he wants threaded bar and bolts going through them every 60 centimeters. So yeah, the opening there is for the stirs. So that'll look really good. And then I will land in the stud work upstairs, but that's like a rainy day job. And happy days. So I've got all this stuff in here to move. I'll have to put the flash on. So I've got that little bit to take out, all this to pile up. The remaining of that cleaning off, cutting, breaking, that bit of the wall there to come out. Refocus. So lots to be doing today. I'm just uh, taking off the sludge off the top because it rains so heavy. I walk in running down here. I took all the sludge off, get down to the better concrete. So we're using Dave's contacts. We've found a guy to get us some steel, uh, three RSJs, and just on with the trench block. See what Dave will do with that wire. Should be able to get it in. And got the lintels in. Dave's found a, another piece of concrete. So we've upcycled just to make it even better. So that will go across the rainwater drain. Took all the pictures for building control. Looking good. So the moment we've all been waiting for, one of two, and we've done the wall opening <laughs> and it looks mega. I'm really, really happy with it. Credit to Dave for his ingenious solutions with the boards, the pins, the screws, the nails, the props, everything. It's just done really, really well. We did discuss ideas uh, with a friend about cutting out the sides of an RSJ, putting that in, and we decided we'll take out a little bit, we'll decide how well intact it is, if it's really crumbly, 
worst case scenario, we'll go down that route. But this is it. Really, really impressed. We've got a full opening. What you reckon? Tall. What you reckon, Dave? That's slow, man. <laughs> I'm ranting like, but God forbid to be a simple job that wouldn't, you know, that would go to plan. It's like taking down a wall isn't difficult, but when you've got lintels, hidden doorways, everything's hidden. It's built on built on built. It's an old house and it's doing my head in. So yeah, a nice simple taking down of the wall now requires all sorts of crap that's stuck in there. Fucking wood mangled with crap. So apologies for losing my temper. Well, I'm not really sorry because it's stressful, really, really stressful. <laughs> Since the beginning, this job, the work that's been done on it is a bodge and it it's nice having surprises, but it's extremely frustrating to work on and to repair. The amount of things that we've uncovered as we've gone along, and uh, that was just me losing my rag. I do it quite often, to be fair, off camera. Understandably, the building game is a hard one. But anyway, let me share my frustration with you. So here we have a wall bricked up, plastered. Now, why would you leave the window in and put plasterboard in front? What is the reason, what's the purpose? You've already got your brick, you've already put it up, you've done the block on the outside, so maybe that was an internal, and then they've done the external at a later date, but why would you not take that out instead of just boarding over it? So here's me swinging, trying to take a uh, brick out and I'm hitting wooden joists and that's bouncing back. So it's all good fun, but it's very stressful. So I'm going having some water and I'm having a minute. <laughs> happy days, happy days. So taking down the wall, another little surprise, but not something as Interesting, I've checked it, but you can see, they made a nice little home that, little bird's nest. So this is the project that just keeps on giving. Although I've had enough of the gifts, just want it to be repaired now. <laughs> So the remainder of the wall has come out and by God, it was tough. That lime mortar, solid concrete block, really, really hard work. Um, persevered and managed. Dave's on the chisel, I was on the sledgehammer and uh, we've managed. So Dave's on with the engineering brick. These are just staggered, but he's starting to put them in. That one got knocked skew with when we was kicking brick out. 
So the progress continues. Um, in regards to the trench block being sideways and not lengthways, uh, they didn't have the correct size in stock. So that's why we've had to make uh, amendments. But apart from that, it's coming along. So Dave's on with blocking up, got our wall ties in, six inch cavity. It's all looking nice and neat. So what is another great day? No rain, blue skies, another great sunset. We've got firewood that I'm chopping at the minute and just loading the trailer up so it'll be a full one on the way home. So we're coming towards the end of the day. So much rubble has been taken out of this house. It's ridiculous. There must be 10 ton that we've moved. And it goes obviously down there and round. Show you what we've been up to. This was here this morning, so we took that out. That was the old bathroom. And then we took out this wall. And Dave's just finishing his pointing out. Taking out the internal wall. Managed to shift all that rubble. And this is how it's looking at the minute. So all propped up, really, really pleased. I'm gonna wrap this video up in two parts because there's quite a lot this week that we're going through. We're just gonna do it in two different videos. So as always, if you like the content, please do share it with other people. Comment if you've got any questions and uh, give us a thumbs up. It helps to find out if people are watching the full videos so it's all greatly appreciated so that is it for tuesday it's been a hectic two days and uh yeah we'll see you tomorrow